at Numerian Capital, we bring you the latest stock news each day. Please like and subscribe so we can bring these articles to you each day. Thank you. Today, August 31st, 2023, NEO stock investors are on edge following earnings report. NEO's third quarter guidance has offered shareholders hope. NEO stock has fallen by about 30% during the past month. The Chinese electric vehicle company delivered 23,520 vehicles during the second quarter. NEO has guided for between 55,000 and 57,000 deliveries during third quarter. NEO, NYSE, NEO, stock is down by about 30% during the past month. A large portion of this decline can be attributed to the Chinese electric vehicle company's second quarter earnings report, which came in below analyst expectations. Meanwhile, shares of China's benchmark CSI 300 index have fallen by about 6% this month, affecting Chinese equities across the board. However, China recently announced that it would have its A shares stamp duty to 0.05% from 0.1% in an effort to support the market. This marks the first stamp duty reduction since 2008. During second quarter, NIA delivered 23,520 vehicles, down by 6% year-over-year from 25,059 deliveries. These vehicles were primarily responsible for NIA's revenue of 8.77 billion yuan, or $1.21 billion, which fell short of the analyst estimate for 9.25 billion yuan. NEO stock investors are on edge following earnings report. NEO's adjusted loss per share of 3.28 yuan, or 45 cents, also fell short of the analyst estimate for a loss of 2.45 yuan per share. Even worse, gross margin was just 1% during second quarter compared to 13% a year ago and 1.5% during first quarter of 2023. Furthermore, Vehicle margin fell to 6.2% from 16.7% in second quarter of 2022. The decrease in vehicle margin from the second quarter of 2022 was mainly attributed to changes in product mix, partially offset by the decreased battery cost per unit, noted NEO in the report. The increase in vehicle margin from the first quarter of 2023 was mainly due to decreased promotion discounts for the previous generation of ES8, ES6 and EC6. Still, guidance was a bright spot for the company's earnings. During third quarter, deliveries are expected to be between 55,000 and 57,000 vehicles, representing year-over-year -year growth between 74% and 80.3%. This guidance is extremely significant, as it signals for over 100% delivery growth compared to second quarter. These deliveries are expected to lead to third quarter revenue of between $2.606 billion and $2.692 billion, implying year-over-year -year growth between 45.3% and 50.1%. NEO has also announced that its mobile phone will be released late next month. The phone will serve as a complement to its vehicles and will be loaded with connectivity features. Our phone business is not to compete with those phone makers, said CEO William Lee. Instead, we would like to use the phone as a carrier to provide the best experience for our vehicle users. Thanks for watching.